What's going on guys, Daniel here from Kiwi Strength. Uh, just in the gym, so we're gonna do some tips to increase your bench press and show you how to wrap wrist wrap. All right, so we'll start, how to start with how to wrap a wrist wrap. Um, if you ain't bought yourself some, go grab some Devil's Breath Ammonia from uh, KiwiStrength.com. <sighs> Strongest ammonia, only NZ made in ammonia in New Zealand. Um, shipped worldwide. Uh, okay, so you got to wrist wrap, these are 36 inch long. Um, Alright, so we're going to restart wrist wrap. You can either put it around your thumb or you can just hold it in there, in your palm. Either way, but remember when you bench, you got to take it off your thumb. Okay? This is the where you start it. Alright, so always hold your wrist straight or slightly in. Alright, if you hold it out like that, it's kind of been the purpose. We're trying to cast it in. All right, so it holds it straight because there's a lot of power coming through here on the bench press. So if you're holding it back here and you cast it in like that, that's just gonna lead to a weaker bench. All right, so when you come around first, all right, come around on top of the palm. All right, so if you compete in a uh, powerlifting federation, there is a rule you can't go too high up. Okay, it's about it's about there. All right, so check your rules and your your book, rule book. All right, so I'm gonna hold it and to come around the back. I'm going to come down, kind of like a knee wrap. I'm going to come down half resolution of the other one. Lock in there. I'm going to come back around and lock it in. Okay. So these aren't. These are the kind of tight, but not super tight. All right. Um, so that's all locked in. You don't want to wrap it just around one spot. So that beats the purpose. It's going to be loose because you come up the top of your palm. Um, here and then come down and then go back up. It's all locked it in. Oh, I thought something was here. Um, there, but get it tighter. You just come wrap it around the other hand like that and then yank it tight and go back around. Now it's super locked in. All right, it's going to hold the wrist straight, giving you more power. It's not going to bend backwards, give you a weaker bench. All right, I need to pain issues in your wrist. Cool. Let's see a wrap a wrist wrap. <sighs> Don't forget, go grab yourself some Devil's Breath Ammonia. Then we ship worldwide. Um, so we'll show you the bench press. Probably put the camera on the side. I will do the first one from the front and then we'll put it on the side so you can see it. Okay, so when we want to bench, we to come down straight at bar line, all right? And then press straight up. So our forearms, everything's in line. That's why we got to strap. So we're not back like that, coming backwards like that. And then it's less power, cool. So you just want to bring all straight line and then press back up in a straight line. Now we push up in a straight line and it will deviate back a little bit, um, but that's fine. That's just how it's going to happen, okay? Don't purposely push it back over your head all right, because then you're just going to use your shoulders, it's going to be weak at lockout. All right, we want to keep it straight as possible, but yeah, it will deviate back a little bit, but that's fine. All right, so um, good wrist wrap, tight around your wrists, and I've shown you. Cast it all in. Um, keep the wrist straight throughout the movement. Um, we'll go over and set up another video, but today we're just going to just gonna lay down and then I'm just going to bench it, showing the bar line, and I'm um, keeping it straight, all right. This one, this is a little bit low for me. I'm gonna have it a bit higher. Cool. So we'll take it out. First, we'll demonstrate uh, a proper one, and then I'll demonstrate a uh, one going backwards. Okay, so it's gonna break down a straight line. And press it straight up. Straight down. Go straight up. Okay. What I'll do is for the next one, I'm going to make it come back and then the wrist back a bit. I'm going to move the camera on the side so you can see it. Let's move you around here. Cool, there we go. Right. So I'll show you a crooked one. Coming down, coming back, not on a straight line. And then I'll throw it back like that. So it kind of arcs. And then I'll show you one the straight line, okay, and then you see the top where it's like deviates back. 
if these were the proper height, when I rack it, it would just go over. If I was, if I was wrong, um, my quip was going higher, so I actually have it handed out to me. Because the shirts don't make them out to set up properly. So just step a little bit and take it out. Also, I'm not going to take it to my bar liners, which is here. I'm going to start back here, like I see a lot of people. And then I bring it down, 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 down. And then I come back, see the sort of change the line, where before I'm not straight, and come back up. Cool. Now I'll show you a straight one. You just want to keep a nice straight line and um, I make a lot stronger bench press. So I'll make another video, we're going to go over the, the lay how I set the lats um, before you take it out and everything. I'll set up, um, you'll break it down. Alright guys, hope that helps. If you have any questions, just shoot us a message. Um, I do just shoot either an email or a um, DM or just leave a message below and we'll get back to you. Alright guys, catch you later.